Got another question for the enthalpy and entropy topic. So this one focuses on enthalpy. So as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video. So part A, we've got to define the term lattice enthalpy. So that's the enthalpy change when one mole of an ionic lattice is formed from its gaseous ions. First part of B, why is the enthalpy change of hydration of chloride ions exothermic? Well, it's because bonds form between the ion and the water molecule, or you could just say that the ion and the water molecule attract each other. Next part, so I've gone for the hydration of the magnesium 2 plus ion first. You can see I've gone from um, gaseous to aqueous for the magnesium. Kept that the same, and then I'm hydrating the chloride ion, so they go from gaseous to aqueous. You can do that the other way around if you want to. So we're moving on to the calculation now. We've got to calculate the enthalpy change of hydration of the magnesium ions. So I've just identified the two routes. So I've got this route here, this route here. Hess's law states that the sum of the enthalpy changes involved in the two routes are going to be the same, which is why I've written that there. So we'll put the numbers in, the lattice enthalpy plus the enthalpy change of solution equals the one we want to find out, The I'm just saying that's X, plus 2 times the hydration enthalpy for the chloride ion because you've got two chloride ions in your cycle. So all we need to do now is solve for X and that's going to give us our answer, which comes out at minus 1921 kilojoules per mole. And finally, why is the enthalpy change of hydration of magnesium ions more exothermic than that for calcium ions? It's all down to the ionic radius. The charges are the same, so we can't talk about charge effect. So magnesium 2 plus ions, they're smaller. They have a smaller ionic radius than calcium 2 plus ions. And so because of that, magnesium 2 plus attracts H2O more strongly than Ca2 plus.